Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Intermountain Sports Network. This is Larry Cecil along with Charlie Pinson and the freedom man, Adam Gerhardt. We're here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Opening night of the boys 15th region tournament. Our first game tonight will be Lawrence County and Belfry. And those two teams met one time during the regular season and Lawrence County come out to win uh, with the uh, victory on that one. That was in the 2A championship sectional tournament over at Floyd Central as uh, Lawrence County defeated Belfry 72 to 61 in that one, Larry. And, you know, uh, it was a well-played game from what I understand. Uh, Lawrence County went on to lose to McGoffin County after that game in 2A. But, yes. yeah, that was their only meeting, and that's our first game. And then, of course, uh, going on later tonight, big contest between the 57th District Champions Martin County Cardinals will be taking on the 59th District runner-up Shelby Valley Wildcats. And they did not play this season. And both of those teams, you know, of course, Martin County won the OA uh, tournament here in the boys uh, earlier in the season, but went on a uh, losing streak, uh, six or seven game losing streak. Eight, toward I the, believe it was eight in a row. Eight games. They end up, uh, of course, they end up winning the 57th district tournament. So they, they kind of got it turned around a little bit. Shelby Valley uh, really got uh, stronger uh, toward the end of the year. Uh, they uh, had a uh, player that was out. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Riley. Riley. Can't remember what his name is. We, we'll get the roster and see. But after he came back, uh, that gave him another uh, big body in the middle. And uh, they really played some good basketball down the stretch. So that, that ought to be a dandy ball game as well as this first one. And, again, it's uh, Lawrence County Bulldogs champions of the 58th district with a record of 18 and 14 on the season, taking on the Belfry Pirates. Runners up in the 60th district uh, with a 9 and 23 season. Been a long season for the Belfry Pirates this year, but here they are with a chance. Uh, they are on the road to Rupp Arena Sweet 16, just like the rest of the eight teams that's here for boys' play. Well, now six. Well, they, well they, no, eight. Boy, we're they, getting started, started first night. They started this tournament. Oh, no. That's right. Everybody. So, you know, you them records there. Jonathan Banks is a stud down low if they use him. The games that I saw him play this year, they didn't use him that much. But when he did get the ball down low, he was tough to handle. And then they've got the uh, guard, uh, Cody uh, Irwin. Uh, he knocked down eight uh, three-pointers uh, down at Betts Lane. We had a game uh, down there, and, and he can hit the three-point shot. So you've got a good uh, inside-outside uh, combination there. And if, if that's a click, you can beat anybody. What do you think about Charlie? Oh, I think he's right. I mean, we did that Belfry game down there, and they were shooting the ball well. Matter of fact, that was an up and down game until Brady Robinson went off, hit 59, and really went off in the second half. And and that was the difference in the ball game right there because Belfry was playing right, hanging right with them. Put 84 points up yeah. and, and got beat for 20. How many times did you see that in high school? Guys, going to run down what we're on here. We're on Intermountain Cable, WPRG TV5. Welcome to everyone out there in your home this evening. Glad uh, to bring the, you're allowed to send to your home. Uh, also, WPRG uh, TV Facebook page. We're Facebook Live here this evening. Our WPRG TV YouTube channel, uh, WPRG.TV, our website's got the whole season of basketball that you can go back and watch on demand. I mean, how awesome is that? Uh, also, our WPRG TV app, we have it available. And right now, you can find our app. It's throughout this uh, arena. It's also on the screen from time to time. You scan that app. Uh, download it, and you are eligible to win a PlayStation 5 that will be given away Monday night during the boys' championship game. So you'll definitely want to scan that, get it downloaded to get in to win on that. Now, tonight we are going to be giving away a couple of tickets for each game tonight. Uh, we got a couple of uh, Co-Wetzel tickets, I think, and also um, rodeos, rodeos coming up as well. Yeah. So we'll give you more details as we... As we go here, uh, I think he's getting ready to throw that on our uh, Facebook page. So if you're with us, give us a like and share on our game feed. Let's grow the audience for these young athletes out here. They deserve the spotlight, and this is their time to shine. 
and you can really help us grow this audience by giving our game feed right now this live feed a like and a share and above and beyond that we also would like for you to like our wprg tv facebook page give us a like and follow the page so you can get notification of really important programming that we do throughout the year because we do so much more than just sporting events yes. and basketball and football we are people's regional guide is what wprg stands for and that's what we do all year long is go out in the community and try to find uh, things of interest to bring home uh, to our subscribers of Intermountain Cable. Yeah, you're exactly right. And with that, we're going to take a short break. And uh, when we come back, Charlie will be down on the floor with the coaches, getting an interview with both the coaches. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is 15th Region Boys Tournament on the Intermountain Sports Network. Traded and upgraded now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Parkview Pharmacy in Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we're committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Room. We're here with Coach Chandler Thompson of Lawrence County and Coach. Uh, big season this year. Yeah, for sure. You know, we're, we're thankful to extend it as long as we can. Um, very proud of our guys last week for battling. Uh, in the district tournament and, and, and coming away winners. Uh, we're, we're super proud of them for that, and we're certainly thankful for the opportunity to be competing tonight. I say tough district over there this year. Yes, it was. You know, it was. I, I felt like every team, I, any team could have won it. You know, we've kind of said that all year long, and uh, fortunately we were the team that uh, played well at the right time and, and was able to come away with a win. Um, playing Belfry here tonight, they're playing their best basketball of the season, so it, it'll certainly be another challenge, but it's one we're looking forward to. You played them in the uh, two-way, didn't you? Yes, we did. We did. Um, you know, it, it was a tight game. I, they were leading at halftime. We ended up falling away and winning by about 10. But Banks is really good. Um, he had 20 and 20 on us, and that's not an exaggeration. So he he had a really good game against us. It'll be a, a challenge to contain him. And they've got really fast guards that we'll have to stay in front of. We had them at Betsy Lane. They put up 84 against Betsy Lane one night. Yeah, they can get up and down the floor. They're athletic. Uh, they play hard. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to be playing our best game today. Well, Coach, good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Coach Chandler Thompson of Lawrence County. Let's see if we can find Coach Hagee out here somewhere. I don't see him. All right. Well, we'll keep it. Yep. We'll keep it going here, Charlie. While okay. you're looking for him, just signal to us. And we want to thank all of our sponsors to help make this possible here on the Intermountain Sports Network, WPRG TV. 
Community Trust Bank, Community Trust Bank, also corporate sponsor here of the Boys and Girls 15th Regional Tournament. Community Trust Bank, what a great partner that 15th Region has. And also a sponsor here on the Intermountain Sports Network coverage. A huge thank you to Community Trust Bank for everything you do for the lo local community. Appalachian Wireless is another one. I want to say a big thank you to Appalachian Wireless for all they do uh, for the community. HPT, Physical Therapy, Tim Short, Chrysler Dodge, Deep Ram, Charlie. Okay, hey, we're here with Coach Michael Hagen. Coach, uh, congratulations on getting the reach. I appreciate it. Thank you. Looks like y'all playing pretty good ball toward the end of the season. We have. Uh, as a coach, you always want to start playing your best ball towards the end of the season. And minus the second half of the district championship, we've been playing really well. I know we had you over at Betsy Lane, and you, you put up 84 over there shooting the ball really well. We were. Um, I think uh, around – actually, the exact date was, I think, February 2nd. We played in the Hatfield McCoy shootout in the Williamson Fieldhouse and shot it really well. And from then on, we have continued to shoot it. Early in the year, we couldn't throw it in the ocean. And uh, now we're shooting it much better, and uh, and we're playing better. Right? They go hand in hand. Yes, sir, Ed. You know, I know you played Lawrence County once already. He said it was a pretty good ball game. It was a really good game for three quarters. I think, if I, if I remember correctly, I think we pretty much led the whole first half. Um, start of the fourth quarter, we ran out of gas. They made some shots, turned us over. And before you know it, we were down 17, and I think we ended up cutting it back to seven before we ended up losing. But uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, it's a better game this time around. Our guys are playing hard. You know, I expect that to continue, and, and hopefully we can get this done. Coach, good luck tonight. Thank you. Coach Michael Hagee of the Belfry Pirates. And back to you, Larry. All right. Thank you, Charlie. And, uh, Adam, uh, you want to finish our uh, sponsor list? Uh, I, I do. Uh, also, Gearheart Security, Jeffrey Reynolds State Farm, Gearheart Fiber, Nature's Pantry Foods, Aftershock Preparedness, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Clayton Holmes of Bristol, Parkview Pharmacy, John Greer Hunt, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Howard Family Pharmacy, and Gearheart TV, and speaking of Gearheart TV, GTV is what we call it. It's our new digital service, Larry. And tonight, uh, GTV uh, is all throughout the tournament doing the WPR GTV app contest. They're making it available to PlayStation 5. Somebody's going to win that championship night. All you have to do is scan the QR code that you see on the WPRG signs or if it comes up on the screen, scan that, download the app, and we are going to pick from the people that are participating and enjoying our app. That just ties into our WPRG.TV website and allows you to watch all of our videos on demand. Again, how cool is that? And also, also tonight, if you'll give our feed here a like and share it out to your friends so we can grow the audience, uh, tonight we have some tickets to the – we got four tickets to the rodeo by gosh we have the east kentucky stampede championship rodeo four tickets we're going to be giving away toward the end of tonight's first game and in the second game we got the cole wetzel uh, concert tickets uh, that's coming up in uh, toward later on this month and here we are guys what a beautiful spring day here march the 1st 2023 we are at the appalachian wireless arena in downtown pikeville and here it is, first night of the boys' 15th regional tournament. And again, glad to have you along here on WPRG TV. Also tonight, we're back on the big station, the 50,000 Water, WIFX, Foxy 94.3, home of the hits right there. Uh, glad to have everyone along with us live here tonight. And I'm going to be stepping out. I'm Adam Gearhart, just uh, filling you in. Uh, Larry and Charlie's going to take good care of you, and they're going to also be joined by Justin Holbrook's going to be stepping in here in just a little bit. But, guys, uh, you know, just excited that we're able to bring this to everyone out there in beautiful HD multi-camera production, and uh, you guys doing a fine job. Thank you, Appreciate thank you. you patting you all on the back. Another year uh, winding down, and we are on the road to Rupp Arena here in the second season. And one, one uh, footnote I want to add on our live stream and our TV also, uh, Lawrence County, uh, they have a lot of subscribers on uh, Foothills uh, Cable. Yes, sir. And uh, they can follow that on Channel 92 on Foothills. I appreciate you mentioning that. That's 
often overlooked on our coverage, but yes, yes sir, they're right there on Foothills. We got a pretty good audience there, I would imagine. Yes, and, we always get And good. I want to uh, just uh, thank the arena and, and everyone that uh, helps make this uh, one of the greatest shows in high school hoops. Uh, it's definitely the top region, in my opinion, in the state of Kentucky, 15th region, and we're blessed to be able to bring it to everyone out there. So, guys, uh, you all kind of take it away. I'm going to let Justin step in here. And uh, time's winding down. Uh, we'll be taking the courtside here shortly for tonight's starting lineups. And with that, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. And like Adam said, when we come back, we will have the starting lineups of the night's game, opening round of the boys' 15th region tournament. Lawrence County Belfry will start it off this year in the Mountain Sports Network. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here at Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena here. We're just minutes away from the tip-off here, but we're going to get the national anthem for you. So everybody... That's the national anthem. Good job by the band on that one. And we're when we can start talking about some of the teams in this uh, coming up, guys. Uh, yeah, this this going to be an entertaining turn. It will be. It's going to be a great one. We'll try to get some information out here to you. This first game, Lawrence County and uh, Belfry will be a good one. I've got you know Lawrence County comes in 18-14. They, they won the district. They also shoot 30% behind the three-point line. That's that's not a bad three-point percentage, 60% from the free throw line. They are led in scoring by Bloomfield, Andrew Bloomfield, 17 points a game. Perry Hayden, 12 points a game. Will Lafferty at 10. Blake Markham at 9. And then Logan Ratliff at 7. So that's a pretty good, that's pretty uh, balanced scoring yeah, right that, there. That's their yes. M.O. Yeah, yep. they uh, they they got uh, really bounced scoring, and uh, of course, like you said, Bloomfield's their uh, leading scorer. But we've seen them several times this year in the 58th district, and then we uh, me and Justin was down covering the tournament. I think the glue to that team is Caden Gillespie. He he don't yeah. do a lot of scoring, but he does everything else. He he's he he usually guards the other team's uh, top scorer, 
Uh, he's tough on the uh, boards, and, and he just plays a really good floor yeah, game. Yeah, he does. He, he's, like I said, the glue that kind of holds it together. He'll set the pick or take the charge. He'll do whatever it takes. Yes. You know, they average 28.9 rebounds, almost 30 rebounds a game. Bloomfield, 5.5. Uh, Lafferty at 5.1. And Hayden at five rebounds. So that they, they rebound by committee, as I like yeah, to say. Yeah. So they get in there, and it's a gang rebound. Everybody crashes the boards, Justin. Yeah, they, they do just about everything by committee. They uh, It doesn't have to be Bloomfield to score. I mean, it can be uh, uh, Perry, Lafferty, Gillespie. I mean, they all, it just whoever it takes, uh, they, they'll take it to the goal if they can. They've all got that freedom. Uh, for Belfry, they're shooting 40% from the free throw line, 31 from the three-point line, and only 57 from the free throw line. <laughs> Led in scoring by Jonathan Banks, 16 points a game. Cody Irwin, 11 points a game. Noah Brown and Eric Daniels at eight eight points a game. And Caden Woolham at seven points a game. Uh, Rebounding-wise, 12.6 for Jonathan Banks, so a double-double for him. Noah Brown at five. And Eric Daniels, Caden Woolham, and Caden Varney at four rebounds a game. And they average 54 points a game. So, um about a 10-point advantage there for Lawrence County just off the sheer averaging number. So, um, I mean, Belfry, uh, obviously, if they're hitting some threes, uh, we watched them the other oh, yeah. night. I mean, if they're hitting, man, you're, yeah, you know. They, they play you, tough. You, you, you might be in some trouble. They hit, what, 14 or 13 threes uh, the other night when we did uh, the Betsy Lane game, not to be outdone by Brady Robinson, though, scored 50. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. kind of a crazy night out there. Yeah. But, you know, I talked to Coach Hakey before the game. He said they've been shooting the ball really well since they played in that shootout over in uh, Williamson and been tur- kind of turned their season around playing their best ball coming down the stretch, which is what you want to be doing as a coach, Justin. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, uh, Lawrence County, uh, three seed, one of two three seeds in the regional tournament this year, and both of those three seeds – um, one on their own floor to kind of get their self. Lawrence County actually won the whole uh, district. Paintsville a three seed and got the, or actually I think Paintsville was the four. They were. They were. They were seed, so, they, yeah. so you got a four seed yeah. and a three seed in the regional tournament. So um, anything can happen. That's and I'm excited it, to. That's why they call it March Madness. That's right. Right. You know, last night I'm sure everybody penciled Lawrence County in and not so fast. Yeah. You know, well, Paintsville came. Roy, I mean, they gave it everything they had. Well, what? when when Bates went down 18, I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, more or less thinking, yeah. well, this one's over with. But, uh, you know, the, what made that game so great is Paints from the players didn't think it was over with. No, oh, that's exactly right. Or coaching staff. Yes. They stayed the course. Well, you know, Les has been there a long time. He, yeah. He's, he, yeah, he knows what he, he's he doing. He knows what he's doing. So, yes. you know. But, you know, Lawrence County, you know, they got the last player in the region. And Melinda knows what she's doing. Don't make <laughs> yeah. no mistake about it. Oh, she's yes. done a great job. Yeah, yeah. She's what? been in the regional championship last year, and I think she made it to the championship the prior year. I think like her, Kinsley's uh, freshman year. And she also made it to the championship the 2A tournament yeah, this absolutely. year. absolutely. We're just about ready now for the starting lineup here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Appalachian Wireless Arena, the 2023 15th Region Basketball Tournament, brought to you by Community Trust Bank, along with Intermountain Cable. Let's meet our starting lineups. Representing the guests on the scoreboard, the runners-up of the 60th District, the Belfry Pirates. Starting at guard, a senior, number zero, Cody Irwin. At guard, a junior, number one, Eric Daniels. At forward, a senior, number three, Jonathan Banks. At guard, a junior, number 11, Caden Woolham. And at guard, a senior, number 21, Noah Brown, the Pirates. Belfry is led by head coach, Michael Peggy. <laughs> Representing the home team on the school board, the champions of the 58th district with a record of 18 and 14, the Lawrence County Bulldogs. Starting at guard, an eighth grader, number one, Aiden Perry. 
and guard a junior number two, Andrew Bluefield. At forward, a junior number three, Blake Markham. At guard, a senior number 23, Aiden Gillespie. And at guard, a senior number 24, Will Lafferty. The Bulldogs. Lawrence County is led by head coach Chandler Thompson. And that's their starting lineup tonight's game, Belfry and Lawrence County. First game of the opening round of the boys' 15th region tournament. Got the girls' semifinals already set. Now we'll, next couple of nights, we'll get the boys set. Well, we were just talking about it during, while he was doing that. The bank, uh, Banks did not play against Betsy Lane. They put up 84 points that night. Yeah. Hey, he's and stud. he's a double-double. He, he's a stud down low. Yeah, he is. Absolutely. And here's the tip, and Lawrence County will control it. Lawrence County starting the eighth grader, too. We see that a lot in yeah. the uh, girls, yeah. and we see it in the boys, and uh, he is their number one three-point three. Oh, man, he is. Stepped on the line. Turnover. Boy, we've seen that two or three times last night, and like we said, this is a college uh, uh, floor. It's wider yeah. and longer than That's a high school, and they're still stepping out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lawrence County with the foot. Right, right back at them. You can do anything you can do, I can do better. And they throw it away, so Lawrence County will get it right back. Just getting started. No score. Here's Lafferty with it for Lawrence County. Looking for a screen, top of the circle, gets it. Gets it back and loses it. And Banks. Wow. Well, okay, he said Lafferty was uh, on, on the, the end line when he was tipping the basketball, so he had to go back to Belfry. Yeah, it's two turnovers quickly. We have got three. We've had three, yeah, three, yeah, three two, turnovers. Two for Lawrence County, one for Belfry. Yes. That's not the, the start either coach is looking for, I'm sure. Haven't had a shot yet in three no, turnovers. Yeah. yeah. Here's Daniels with it. Lawrence County opened up in a man-to-man and driving the lane, shot up. No good. That was Willem. Rebound. They got a hand on that one. And on the other end, it was knocked out of bounds off of Lawrence County's Bloomfield, and it's going to go to Belfry. So three another turnover. turnover. Lawrence, County. Lawrence County's had it three times, Who turned it over turnover? three times. Who turned that one over, Larry? Well, uh, Belfry's defense knocked the pass and hit it, uh, deflected, hit it Bloomfield, went out of bounds. Lawrence, or excuse me, Belfry in the front court. Daniels pulls up off the glass. No good. Rebound Gillespie. Kicks it out to Bloomfield. It's one on two. Takes it to the bucket off the glass. No good on that end. Rebound comes off. That's Noah Brown with it for Belfry. And there's a foul. That'd be, be Hayden Perry, his first, team's first. Make Minute 10 bit. in, no score. <laughs> It'll come in to Belfry. That's Cody Irwin with it. Irwin's got Markham on him. Markham, a very good defense player here. Free throw line jumper, no good, but Daniels rebound comes off Perry. He'll bring it into front court. Hayden Perry over to Lafferty. Drive, stopped, shot up, no good. Down low, Gillespie with the rebound, and he'll go to the line for two. Daniels will pick up the foul, his first, team's first. 6-21 left here, first quarter, just getting started, no score. And Gillespie putting Lawrence County out now 1-0. You'll get one more. This one's also good. 2 nothing, Lawrence County. First two points of the game. They stay in that man-to-man full-court pressure. Here's Markham on Irwin. Gets it over to Daniels. And Lawrence County, a uh, half-court trap. And beautiful pass down low. Putting it up and in. Willem. 
And that's the way you break the double team. You yeah. uh, use that old back door. Yes. Almost two minutes in before we had our first field goal. Here's Lafferty. Kicks it back out to Hayden. Uh, one more. Gillespie. Perry with it. Bloomfield. Lafferty looks. Top to circle. No good by Gillespie. Rebound comes off. That's Banks. You'll hear a lot from him yes. tonight. Yeah, he's a double-double machine. 12 rebounds a game. And they got Gillespie down low on him. Banks has got a little height on Gillespie, but Gillespie's probably got a little quickness on him. Yeah. That shot no good by Belfry. Rebound come off to Hayden. And here's a steal. And off of Belfry's foot, out of bounds. Irwin couldn't control it. Here to go back to Lawrence County. Four to two turnovers yeah, right here to start uh, the ball battling, game. Battling in the turnover category. Not the point category. And for Lawrence County, we've got number 15. That's Logan Ratliff coming in. Yeah, Perry with a quick exit. He's got, I've got him with three rebounds already, Perry. And here's a drive. Lafferty to the bucket, oh, misses man. it. Rebound comes off Banks. Give it over to Irwin. He's got Markham on him. Drives down the left side to the bucket, off the glass, no good. Rebound comes off. That was Markham with it. Gets it over to Gillespie on the move, down the lane, off the glass, no good, and he draws another foul. Well, we're almost halfway through the first quarter. That's the only point Lawrence That'd County's be, got at the free Daniels, line. his second. Yeah. Yep. Team second. Don't have a field goal so no. far, Lawrence does not. Nope. I've got Lawrence County 0 for 3 from the field. And Gillespie's free throw rolls off. It remains a 2-2 ball game, 440 left first quarter. And you see that a lot in the tournament, you know, uh, yeah, teams getting off slow. Well, uh, this is the first game of the boys, you yes, know what I mean? Like, this right. is the entire kickoff of yes, the boys. So, yes. you know, nerves can be a little expected. Gillespie makes the second free throw. It's 3-2. Lawrence County, all of their points coming on free throws, and here's the near wow, steal. Wow, what a save. <laughs> Irwin comes up with it, gives it over to Brown in the front court. It'll come, Woolham. Oh, he stopped. Shot, no good. Battle for the rebound comes off. Markham with it for Lawrence County. Gillespie top the circle. Drives, kicks it out. Here's Rattler. Back over to Markham. Lafferty, three. No good. Banks, another rebound. I think he's got three already, didn't he? Yeah, I've got him with two. Okay. Two good. I, bet they, I think they were back-to-back -back there. Yeah. Here's working in the front court, Woolham. Top of the circle on the floor to the bucket. Try to get it into Banks. Good defense that time by Rattler. Another turnover. He'll kick it up court. Markham, three in the air, comes up short. Banks got his third rebound now. Yeah. yeah. And looking for help. Gets it over to Irwin. Irwin comes in the front court. Markham on him. Pulls up for the three. Goes wow. in. Got the That's nice so roll off the front of the rim. And Belfry goes on top 5-3. Lafferty with Gillespie. Rattler. He fired the three. No good. Rebound run down by Bloomfield. Gillespie on the baseline. In the Rattler. Shot up no good. And he draws the foul. So, that's the third team foul now for fourth team foul. Uh, is that third or fourth? Third, they, they put it up on the board real quick. Time I looked yeah. up, I already had three. That'll be their third. Let's see. Is that on 23? Caden Barney? Yeah. Shot no good by Rattler. Leaving some points on the... Free throw line here. They yeah, are. number 11 in the lineup for Lawrence County. That would be Ford Skaggs. Yeah, Lawrence County will go deep. They'll use that bench. They'll use eight or nine players. You're exactly right. It's it's another one. Brown with the rebound. Skaggs, a 6'5". Uh, yeah, junior. He played good against Floyd Central down there in the first game of the district. Belfry's Woolham with it. Comes across over number 23 in the lineup. That's Barney. 
Long three up Brown. a good, Noah Brown. And Belfry moves out to an 8-3 lead. Charlie, he's that one to hit a couple to yeah, start the is. game. He hit like three in a row to start the game. And there's Gillespie as it knocked loose. Perry for three. Good. Wow. Yeah, you can't leave him. In and out, off the glass and in. And Hayden Perry answers the three for Belfry. I like to give him four for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Made Five with a style time. point. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Eight to six. Here's a drive. Shot up. Oh. No good. But Willem, rebound Rattler. He'll get it to Bloomfield. Perry with it. He'll go back to Bloomfield. 2.05 left here in the first quarter. Try to go down low to Rattler. Knocked loose. Banks comes up with the steal. Irwin with it. He'll bring it into front court for the Pirates. Into the corner to go. That's Brown inside Banks. And he's going to be fouled. Oh, yeah. So what, who they're going to call it on? I think Bloomfield. Yes. That, yep. That'll be his first. Jonathan Mike, second, second line. And his free throws up and good. 9 6, Belfry. You got three players coming in for Lawrence County. Two of the starters returning. That's Gillespie and Markham. And Number five, Ethan Horn also in. Lawrence County already eight deep. And Banks misses the second free throw. Hayden Perry comes out with the rebound. Nobody stopped the dribble. He fires the three, and it's an air ball. Boy, don't see that very often. No. And we got a media timeout. 137 left. It's 9-6 Belfry. This is your Inner Mountain Sports Network. No one ever said that home sweet home had to cost a fortune. After all, true comfort is having your own cozy spot to relax at the end of a long day. It's having the perfect space for your next home cooked meal. It's knowing that every little detail is right where it belongs. It's having it made at a price that can't be beat. For a limited time, home sweet home is sweeter than ever with incredible savings. Clayton Homes, Lee Highway, Bristol. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, minute 37 to go, 9-6. to six, Low scoring affair. Both teams still trying to figure it out here offensively. Well, a lot of turnovers. Lawrence County was the only one field goal, and that's a three-pointer yep. by Perry, and it bounced around, hit the backboard, and went back in. It wasn't a clean <laughs> yeah, shot. That's true. And Belfry's hit two, only got three field goals. Two of them three-pointers. Belfry, Irwin, no good. Rebound, Woolham. Back to Irwin. Fakes the three, puts it on the floor, can't go nowhere, and throws it away. They've been ex excelling at turnovers, though. Yeah, Five, yeah, four, large four for Belfry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough out there. Yeah. And number four, that's Braxton Davis in for Lawrence County. Big case of the nerves. Yeah, Bloomfield yet to score, leading score. Davis with it, gets it over to Markham. He'll take it back, works around top of the circle, gives it over to Gillespie. And here's Markham, shot no good, battle for the rebound, knocked out of bounds off Lawrence County to go to Belfry. Yeah, Lawrence County just having a tough time finding the bottom of the net. They've already used nine players. We got 45 seconds left first quarter. And here's a shot up. Banks, no good. Gillespie goes up and claims the rebound. He's still on the move. Down the lane, free throw line jumper up and good. Didn't never stop the dribble, and he just takes it down. Shoots a wide open free throw. 
line shot. And it's a 9-8 game. Belfry. Woolham in the front court to Banks. Noah Brown, three. No. And rebound comes off. That's Hayden Perry with it. And Coach Thompson said, we want the last shot. We're at 10 seconds. Gillespie working, seven. He's got it. Nice fake. Shot up, no good. He draws the foul. He's been the most consistent player for him here in the first quarter. Yeah, for sure. Cody Irvin will pick up the foul. It'll be his first team's fourth. And we, and we like that. We bragged on him about being glued to the team, and uh, he's come yeah. out, and, and uh, that's what uh, he's been here in the first quarter. Yeah, senior. Misses the free throw. Made his first two. Missed his last three, I think, ain't he, Charlie? Yep. No, made his first two. Missed one then, made one then. Missed okay. His... Made one, so he's going to make this one then. Every other one. And misses. Oh, rebound knocked loose, and nothing can happen. 9-8, Belfry at the end of one over Lawrence County. Boys, 15th Region Tournament on the Intermountain Sports Network. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here at Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Appalachian Wireless Arena, 9-8, Belfry leading Lawrence here. It's so very going to the second quarter. A slow-moving first half. Yeah, first it's quarter. A, yeah. Low, uh, low scoring. Belfry come in averaging 54 points a game, and uh, Lawrence County comes in uh, averaging 64 points a game. So neither one of them is uh, anywhere close to what their season average is. And had some good defense, but uh, just missing some shots. Here's Woolham down the lane. Misses another one at the rim. Gillespie with another rebound. Comes off with it for Lawrence County. Yeah, Woolham's got a couple looks right at the rim. Lawrence County got the starting five back in. They went nine deep in that first half. Yeah. Or, excuse me, first quarter. Here's Perry, three, comes out. And that was Brown losing the rebound. Lawrence County comes up with Markham to the bucket, misses it. Rebound comes up. That's Eric Daniels with it for Belfry on the move. And now he'll back it out, give it over to Woolham. He goes over to Irwin. Irvin stops three in the air. Count it. Dang. Boy, it looked good from it when does. he left his hand, didn't it? He's two for two from the three-point line. He gets on. He gets hot. He's dangerous. Yeah. 12-8. Belfry with the lead. Here's Lafferty. Has it knocked loose. Coming up with it. That's Brown. Good defensive play. Gets it to Irwin for Belfry. In the front court. Drives. Uh, loses it. Able to save it in, but he goes out of bounds on the sideline. It'll go back to Lawrence County. Seven turnovers, Lawrence, five for Belfry. Yeah. And we got a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. 6.41 left, first half, 12-8, Belfry. We didn't get a timeout in that first quarter. Not, well, the first now, the media the, timeout came at one minute. One, to one twenty-three. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, it's uh, pretty clean action, you know. Yeah, yeah really it was. I mean, five, six fouls in the ball game right now. Yeah, it's uh, both teams still just like a, yeah, a just, boxer's match. It's yeah, still trying to fill it out. Yes. I don't think either team feels comfortable at this point. Uh, you uh, you can see it out there, too. Yeah. You know, turnovers and uh, Lars rebounding the ball well. They lead the rebounding battle 12 to 9. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Perry with um, five rebounds already. Well, you know, Belfry's getting one one and done on yeah. the offensive end. They've not had an off, they've had one offensive rebound. Yeah. Here's Lafferty, kicks it in the corner. Hayden, three, no. Rebound comes off. That's Woolham. 
Out on the run. He's in front of everybody. Takes it to the bucket. No good, but he's fouled. And that's going to be Perry. That's his well, second. second isn't right. That's big. Woolham just come off the board with it on the defensive end and just put his head down and went straight to the bucket. Yeah. Down hill all the way. And makes the free throw. Yeah, he was looking over his shoulder. Ratliff back in for Lawrence County. Perry would go to bench with those two fouls. Might not see him no more. And Woolham come up short second free throw. That was Bloomfield with the rebound. And they work it down in the corner, knocked out by Belfry. It'll stay with Lawrence County. Yeah, they need to get Bloomfield going here a little bit. Yes. He's, I don't, not, he's, he's had, I, I he's think only he's only had one shot. Yeah, yeah, one shot. That's what I was thinking. He's got the basketball now. He's working. Gets it back over to Lafferty. Good defense that time on Lafferty by uh, Eric Daniels. Lafferty takes it back. Rattler, long three. Count it. Bang, bang, bang. That was the foot behind the uh, <laughs> oh, college yeah. lane. That, that was, was a no doubt deep. right there. Deep. 13 to 11, Belfry. And uh, Woolham just loses it. Yeah. Reached down, tried to pick it up. Both hands off the dribble, just slipped out of his hand, goes out of bounds. Straight out of his hands. I mean, just unforced. Nobody. Yep. He saw that double team coming, to, yep. uh, trying to pass out of it, and just lost control. Rattler, he heat check, comes up short. Gillespie with the rebound, no good. He's fouled. fouled. Working the boards hard. Yep, that's his second offensive rebound. Fifth rebound on the game. And this will be his uh, seventh yeah, and eighth yeah. uh, free throws here in the first half. Yeah, he's got to convert on them, though. He's missed, uh, what, three of his last four. Yep. This one's up, comes up short. Banks back in for Belfry. Eric Daniels will go to the bench. Lesby second one up and good. 13-12, Belfry by one, 5-29 left first half. It'll come into Woolham. That's Barney with it, Caden Barney. Now he gets it over to Irwin. Irwin tried to work off the screen, top of the circle, Banks. No, couldn't do nothing with it. Now he's got it at the jump circle. Irwin got it down in the corner. Here to go. That's Noah Brown. He's looking for help. Lawrence County with some good defense. And try to go down low. And Rattler knocked it loose. Gillespie, and one. That's a and he'll go back for the <laughs> ninth free throw. Yeah. Yep. He's eight. got eight points. If he'd uh, knocked a, oh, man. a good percentage of his uh, free throws down, he could have had 10 or 12 points. Yeah, he, he's missed four. Lawrence County takes the lead, 14-13. Make it... 15-13. Low scoring first half. We've got 453 left here in the first half. Well, 7-0 run for Lawrence County. Belfry works it in the front court. There he is, uh, Woolham, Ooh. and he's going to get the and one. Gets his own. Woolham five. Gillespie, yes. Four team fouls for Lawrence County. Six for Belfry. Free throw, no good. Rebound comes off Gillespie. And he's going to have to pull his dribble up. Looking for help. Gets it to Lafferty. Here's hiding with it, Lafferty. Oh, excuse me, Markham. Top of the circle, Rattler. Good. Two of three oh, behind wow. the three-point line. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them deep, too. Lawrence County finding their stride a little bit now. It's 18-15. On the other end, Banks in the lane. Shot no good. Rattler with the rebound. Gillespie over to Markham. Back to Gillespie. Three. No. And Woolham 
lost the rebound out of bounds. It's going to stay with Lawrence County. And we've got a media timeout, 3.59 left. Lawrence County for three, 18.15. This is your Sports Network. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Gearheart Fiber is coming to the city of Pikeville. It's time to upgrade your internet. With speeds up to one gig available, you can have the bandwidth for all the users and devices in your home without lag or long load times. Visit www.gearheartfiber.com to find out if service is available yet in your area and to sign up for updates on future coverage areas. Get connected with Gear Heart Fiber. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Don't miss out on watching your favorite local sports while you travel. Download the WPRG TV app and you can watch live from anywhere on your phone. And it's completely free. Never miss a moment with WPRG Live local coverage. 18 to 15, Lawrence County on top. 3.59 to go before the half. Um, Lawrence County seems to be figuring out the offense a little bit better here. Yeah. Well, they've got to get a big boost off the bench with Bradley. Yeah. Knock, knocked the two three-pointers down. Yeah. Well, they scored eight in the first quarter. And they've already got 10 halfway through the second. Right. So that's that's a pretty good sign. Here's Gillespie and Ratliff. Three, no. And battle for the rebound. Belfry comes up with it. Caden Barney with it. Get it over to Woolham, and Woolham will give it to Irwin. Irwin in the front court. He's had a couple of three-pointers of his own. Here's, that was Woolham with it. And going to be a, Travel call number 25 in the lineup. That's an Aiden Burke for Belfry. Brown checking back in for Belfry. Burke will go back out. Got Perry in there with the two fouls. Well, I didn't expect to see him no, I didn't this either. first half. Belfry trying to run the 2-1-2 uh, two -two half-court trap. There he is. Skaggs shot no good. Rebound comes off. That's Irwin with it on the move. Going to take it to the bucket, and it's blocked out of bounds by Rattler. Foul, though. Foul called, and they're going to get Gillespie. That'll be his second. That's his second. Yeah, that's big. Cody Irwin at the line. Irwin six points off the two three-pointers. Yeah. Free throw looks good. I've been waiting on the heat check. He's two for two from the three-point line. Yeah. He's been he's, waiting he's, on him to get another one up. I he's mean, got a really smooth delivery yeah, on does. his shot, doesn't he? He does. He's a senior. Comes up short on the second, just just quick as you brag on him. Right? Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> There's Perry down low, Bloomfield, and yeah. he's going to be fouled, and that's going to be – it's going to be on Noah Brown. Seven, and that'll be the one-on-one. -on -one. Give Bloomfield a chance to watch one go through the, the net if he can. Still only shot one shot. Makes it. He had a good game in the championship game against. Oh, yeah, monster game. Uh, Betsy Lane and uh, done most of his work down low. Yeah, and in the second half. I think he had like 20 in the second half. Makes both free throws. 20 to 16. Lawrence County before. And ball Take kick. Ball, yep. It'll stay with Belfry. Lawrence County back in the full court pressure and it's man to man. It'll come into Woolham, gets back over to Irwin. Now they'll double team out of it and oh. throws it away. Set. And it's kind of a little disguise. Uh, they uh, showed man to man, and then yeah. quick as the ball came in, they jumped over on the double team. I'm showing 10 turnovers on Belfry, seven on Lawrence County. Yeah. Yeah, it's not been pretty. Aiden Perry, he'll get it into Lafferty. Lafferty working down the right side, still on the move. Off the glass and in. Good body control. Another drive to the bucket, and Belfry never stopped the basketball. Here's Woolham with it. 
And he's going to take it down the lane, and it's going to be a block. Ooh. See if they give him the shot, Tony. Yep. Did the basket go in? Yeah. 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 That foul was on Skaggs, the number 11. And number 11 will be at the line in the form of Willem. Misses. Rebound. Hayden Perry. Bloomfield on the drive. Has it knocked loose? Ball on the floor. Bloomfield oh. digs it out. Oh, he got out there. I don't Boy, know. I Here's Ratliff into the corner of Skaggs. Looking for help. And he'll get it over to Bloomfield. 225 left. Here in the first half, Bloomfield hesitation dribble down the lane. No good. Skaggs with the tilt. No good. And Banks clears the board for Belfry. Had the two six five guys in yeah. there working uh, on the boards on that one. 22-18. 2.05 here first half. Belfry with the basketball. They trail before. In the corner, it'll go to Woolham. Irwin, three. Comes up short. Rebound comes off to Bloomfield. On the move. Back over to Lafferty. Uh, Got to find him. And Perry, three. Way long on that one. And wow. you know, he looked like he just rushed his shot, just grabbed it and shot it. Yeah. Yeah, I've got him one for four from the three-point line. Belfry, Not like him. Belfry will have it. 130 left here in the first half. They still trail before 22-18. In the corner to Woolham, double team, back out on top to Irwin. Banks, give it to Woolham, drives the baseline and tripped. No call, loses the basketball. Lawrence County has it, Lafferty. Bloomfield, hits a three, comes up short. Skaggs with the rebound. And ball knocked out of bounds, trying to get it over to Perry by Belfry and get to stay with Lawrence County. 103 left here in the first half, 22-18. Lawrence. Yeah, Bloomfield 0 for 3 from the field. Having a tough night. Blake, Perry as well. Blake Markham comes back in for Lawrence County. Here's Lafferty with the 3, no good. Markham comes off the rebound. And Ratliff down in low and puts it in. 8 for Ratliff. Off the bench. They really needed him too. 24-18, Lawrence County for six. Pass is tilt, but it's out of bounds. It's going to save with Belfry. 41 seconds left. First half. Woolham gets it into Irwin. Irwin on the drive down the left side to the bucket. Shot up. Ooh. No good. Foul call. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be on Bloomfield. His second, I believe. Mark no. got a rattle. I mean, a uh, rattle. Bloomfield sure looked like he was yeah. on him, didn't he? Yeah. He thought it was. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I'd say he's coming to the bench, if I would guess. Well, I don't know. You might want to leave him in for offense, but you don't want to pick up that charge either. Who, Rattler? Uh, Markham, because he's already got the two. Yeah, he sends the sub back to the bench. Urban at the line for two, makes the first. He's two or three from the line, got eight points. Number 15 for Belfry coming into the lineup. That's Caleb Hensley. First time we've saw him. Makes them both. 25 seconds left, first half. Lawrence County before they have the basketball, and Lafferty looks like they're just going to wait for the last shot. Works down right side, fakes the handoff, gets it to Rattler. Comes back out on top of the Bloomfield. Lafferty now will come back out on top, take it again. We're at seven seconds. Got to go. Here's Lafferty. Back out on top. Perry, three. Top of the circle. No. And Gillespie tried to tip it back to Rattler. And at the end of the first half, it's 24-20. Lawrence County over Belfry. Opening game of the boys' 15th region tournament. We'll send it back to station. Be back shortly with some halftime stats and comments as you're in about Sports Network. 
upgraded and upgraded now at Apple Atom Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Apple Atom Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Apple Atom Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Apple Atom Wireless. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here in Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. WPRG is your source for live local sports and event coverage. Don't miss a minute of the regional tournament action. You can watch at home on Gearheart TV Channel 5 or from anywhere at WPRG.TV or with our free WPRG TV app, available for free on Apple and Android. You never have to miss a second from your favorite local teams with WPRG. No one ever said that home sweet home had to cost a fortune. After all, true comfort is having your own cozy spot to relax at the end of a long day. It's having the perfect space for your next home cooked meal. It's knowing that every little detail is right where it belongs. It's having it made at a price that can't be beat. For a limited time, Home Sweet Home is sweeter than ever with incredible savings. Clayton Homes, Lee Highway, Bristol. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Gearheart Fiber is coming to the city of Pikeville. It's time to upgrade your internet. With speeds up to one gig available, you can have the bandwidth for all the users and devices in your home without lag or long load times. Visit www.gearheartfiber.com to find out if service is available yet in your area and to sign up for updates on future coverage areas. Get connected with Gearheart Fiber. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Don't miss out on watching your favorite local sports while you travel. Download the WPRG TV app, and you can watch live from anywhere on your phone. And it's completely free. Never miss a moment with WPRG Live local coverage. Take the short drive to satisfaction to Tim Short Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hyundai in Pikeville for your next car, truck, or SUV. Now offering lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles and lifetime engine warranty on pre-owned vehicles. Over 300 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock and six franchises in one location. Don't forget our pre-owned superstore at the entrance of Pikeville Walmart. With options for all credit situations, we can get you financed. View our inventory at timshortcdjrofpikeville.com. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. 
I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Welcome back to Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're at the half of the opening game of the boys 15th region tournament, Lawrence County and Belfry. And a slow first half, both teams. Lawrence County leads before 24-20. And Justin Charlie's got some first half numbers. You know, a uh, big number on rebounds, 22 for Lawrence County, six on the offensive end. Belfry has 17 and two because neither one have been making very many shots. Let's just be honest. You're right. Uh, leading up. Uh, Lawrence County is Gillespie with nine points, eight for Logan Ratliff, three for Hayden Perry, and two each for Andrew Bloomfield and Will Lafferty. And for Belfry, Cody Urban with nine, seven for Caden Woolham, three for Noah Brown, and one for Jonathan Banks. Belfry's turned it over 11 times, seven for Lawrence County. Got some individual numbers. Yes, up. it's uh, it, it. Like I said, Lawrence County's done a really good job on the glass. I've got uh, just some individual stuff. I've got Perry with seven rebounds, one of them offensive. I got Gillespie with six rebounds, two offensive rebounds. They've got three points off of turnovers, um, but I've got some uh, some major turnover issues right. over here on Belfry. Um, but uh, rebounding wise, Banks, I've got him with six rebounds, one of them offensive and Woolham with two, but just some things that stuck out, uh, stood out to me. Perry, only one for five from the three-point line. Uh, Belfry, three for four from three-point line, so probably need to get a few more of those up, but they, they were getting to the in the lane real easy. I've got Woolham, uh, he shot seven shots in the first half, and it seemed like all of them were right at the goal. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I've still got him three for seven, but... Um, just got to keep attacking, and, you know, hopefully that ball goes in. So Well, and another thing, too, uh, Lawrence County uh, uh, got uh, some fouls uh, on Belfry and shot a lot of free throws in that uh, yeah, first half, actually, with, uh, uh, I think, uh, neither team got in the uh, bonus. Uh, and uh, Gillespie, with nine points, he had nine rebound attempts, I mean, nine free throw attempts in yes. that first half. And I think he only made four, maybe, uh, wasn't it, Charlie? Four of nine. As a team, they're six of 12, 50%. He is, he is five of nine. nine. He had nine, nine free throws, yeah. yeah. So they left a few points at the free throw line. Yeah. And kind of got it rolling a little bit in that second quarter. Uh, only had, I think, eight points at the end of the uh, first quarter. So, uh Look for both teams to come out, make some adjustments, maybe uh, get their offense uh, cranking up a little bit. 24-20 here to half, Lawrence County. Lawrence County, I have the basketball uh, at the start of the second half, so we'll send it back to the station. Be right back for second half action. This is your Animal Sports Network. Both of them shoot. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. No one ever said that home sweet home had to cost a fortune. After all, true comfort is having your own cozy spot to relax at the end of a long day. It's having the perfect space for your next home cooked meal. It's knowing that every little detail is right where it belongs. It's having it made at a price that can't be beat. For a limited time, Home Sweet Home is sweeter than ever with incredible savings. Clayton Homes, Lee Highway, Bristol. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. 
Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. Don't miss out on watching your favorite local sports while you travel. Download the WPRG TV app and you can watch live from anywhere on your phone. And it's completely free. Never miss a moment with WPRG Live local coverage. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Parkview Pharmacy in Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Dad. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Take the short drive to satisfaction to Tim Short Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hyundai in Pikeville for your next car, truck, or SUV. Now offering lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles and lifetime engine warranty on pre-owned vehicles. Over 300 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock and six franchises in one location. Don't forget our pre-owned superstore at the entrance of Pikeville Walmart. With options for all credit situations, we can get you financed. View our inventory at timshortcdjrofpikeville.com. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're about two minutes to go before the start of the second half of the first game. The second game, Martin County and Shelby Valley will match up. That should, uh, I, I think both of those teams feel like they've got a shot to, to get to Monday night. Oh, for I sure. think so. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone that like our Facebook page and share the 15th region tournament game going on right now to all your friends and you'll become eligible with a chance to win four tickets for the East Kentucky Stampede Radio right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. But you got to like and share and give us a comment on our chat room and you'll be eligible for that prize. Be a, a different prize given away every game throughout the rest of the week. All the tournament games and then Monday night, boys' championship game, there will be a PlayStation 5 given away. Yeah. There yep. you go. Those things are hard to get. Hey, everybody loves the rodeo, though, don't they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you uh, – I've never got a chance to be at the one here. I've not seen the one here. But that'd it wasn't be too awesome. bad. I was here a few I years ago. I, I never did come to the rodeo. I came to the uh, – when they had, used to have the bull riding here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I used to love going to rodeos when I was younger. Yeah, listen to them on the radio every now and then too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As we're about ready to get started back here, both teams on the floor. We got twenty sixth on the scoreboard, so yeah, we'll both get... teams going to have to settle in a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, if either team can just settle down and feel better offensively, I think they could take control easy. Yeah, you know, they, they've really been real stilted on the offensive end. You're right. Yeah, Bloomfield and Perry, two leading scorers for 
Well, Banks only has one point. He's not got a field goal. Yeah, he's not yeah, even Bill. attempted a shot. And Bloomfield 0 for 2 or 0 for 3 and Perry 1 for 5. So both, both teams with their starting lineup back out on the floor. Belfry's uh, Daniels has got three fouls. And just like that, Bloomfield down low comes open and puts it in. And here's the pressure. Banks on the other end and lays it off the glass. Thought we was going to get to see that old uh, yeah. Tommy Hawk there, but he decided to just lay it in. So both of the leading scorers come out yeah. and get a bucket. We, yeah. we talk about them, they yeah. scored. I like it. I'm sure both coaches addressed that at that time as well. Yeah. First, first 30 seconds, uh, two buckets. Down low, Bloomfield, and he puts it yeah. in. Well, we can and tell that, what Coach Thompson talked about. Well, you know, <laughs> we talked about it earlier in the yeah. second half. Uh, in the championship game against Betsy Lane, that's where he done his yeah. work. Here's Banks on the drive and off the glass, no good. Rebound comes off at Perry. Gets it over Lafferty. Lafferty on the drive Ooh. down the lane, shot up, no good. It's foul, foul called. Maybe on Banks. Yes, yep, it is. That'll be his first. Team's first here in the second half. You know, maybe and the coach is just talking to the players as well because Bloomfield took two shot attempts and so is Banks here yeah. in the first four possessions. And Lafferty misses the free throw and Lawrence County only 50% from the free throw line in the first half misses the first attempt here in the second half. Makes the second. Consistent. <laughs> One of two, split that pair. And here's the full court pressure. Comes in Irwin. They back off now. It's man to man pressure. Irwin in the front court gets screened from Brown. Still working with it. Now Banks comes out, gives him screen. He takes it down the lane off the glass Ooh, and in. What an angle. <clears throat> and Belfry with a quick 30 second timeout. 29 24, 637 left third quarter. Reminds me of a Kenny Walker story he told me one time. Said, you know, said he was they were getting beat by somebody. Said Joe Hall calls a timeout. Gets everybody in the huddle. He said, wouldn't it be great if we had an All American out there that could <laughs> score the ball? They all went, yeah, yeah. Well, here he is, speaking Kenny Walker. Give yeah. him the dang on ball. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to use that a little yeah, bit yeah. if we can. You know, uh, yeah, you got to let stars be stars. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know, how did you get here? Yeah, I, I mean, I, that was one of the things I. Uh, I feel like Lawrence County does. I was talking to some people about, but I prided myself on when I was coaching was to just let the players play. You know what I mean? Let yep. people take bad shots. Let You know what I mean? Force the ball. One of my, uh, one of my, one of my buddies, Coach Upai, called me one time. He said, you know, if you get the ball in your best athlete's hand, it makes you look like a really good coach. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, that's uh, that's coaching 101. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Lawrence, players can make you look real smart. Lawrence County working down low. Nice Gillespie job. put that evan in. Nice, bait. Gillespie's came to play tonight. Yeah, he's got 11. He's in double figures. Yeah, he's three for four from the field. Here's Woolen with it. Lafferty about at it, knocked loose from him. Now here Banks with it in the front court. Gives it over to Irwin for Belfry. Tipped loose. Irwin picks it up. He's double teamed. Knocked loose again. Bloomfield. Irwin comes up with it. And he's going to take it to the wow. bucket and put it in. <laughs> After all that. Still got the two. See, nice job of keeping his head yeah, up. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Almost turned it over twice. Stayed with it. Here's Markham three County. Oh, Blake man. Markham. I think everybody's calmed down a little bit. Now. And that's his first points of the night. Yeah. He's one for five from the field. 34-26. Belfry working in the front court with it. Gets it over to Woolham. He's going to drive and try to get it down low and kick said ball. it was kicked. Yeah. But, you know. He threw the pass. Gillespie was standing there, never, never kicked it. He right. went off his foot. Yeah. I don't see how it's a kick ball. I mean, kick it if you actually kick yeah. it, right? Right. If you try but, to play defense by sticking your foot out there, right, or something right. like that. But he was just standing there, went off his leg, and but that's the right call. Yeah. But you know, that's that's a call that you know you can let go and Ooh, and down one. the lane. Noah Brown and one. I think the scoring has picked up the same oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ratliff with the foul. Wow, they've already scored 10, haven't they? Lawrence yeah. County already got 10 in the second quarter. Yeah, they've already scored more than they did in the first quarter. <laughs> they already. 
527 left here in the third quarter. Brown's free throw comes up air ball. 34-28. Belfry hanging around. By this time in the first quarter, we had a dozen rebounds. Now we only got three. Yeah, everybody making shots yeah. now. Yeah, well, <laughs> you ain't got no missed shots and no rebound. Here's Bloomfield. And, and we got it. And one. He's three for three here. Yep. And he done an excellent job able to keep his balance. He got yeah. his feet tangled up with Woolham and just more or less threw that one up, got the foul. Lawrence kind of being a lot more aggressive this uh, third quarter early here, taking yeah. the ball down in the paint. Bloomfield makes the free throw. Gets him out to nine-point lead. And that makes him nine points on the game. That's their largest lead, 37-28. There's Daniels with hands it over to Brown. Woolham in the paint. Shot up, no good. Gillespie claims the rebound. Working with it here in the front court, still on the move. Spin moving lane, loses it, that it's going to be off Belfry. Or no, they got no, it off Gillespie. They're going to yet. say it's off uh, Lawrence County. Eight Belfry turnovers. will have it. Eight turnovers. Irwin in the front court. Over to Brown. Eric Daniels. He hasn't scored. Elbow jumper, no good. Gillespie again to rebound. He, he must be getting close to 10, right? Yeah, he's, he's at eight. Here, Markham three. That's his second off the second half. And Lawrence County stretching it out now as they go up a 12. 40-28. Here's Irwin. Heavy pressure. He drives the baseline, kicks it out. Ooh, wow. Daniels puts it up and in. What a pass. And how did that pass get oh through the hands? I have no idea. Threaded a needle for sure on that one. There's Ratliff in the front court for Lawrence County. Gillespie. Ratliff on the drive. Has it knocked loose. Bloomfield picks it up and puts it in. Bouncing your way now. Yeah, it? yes. 42-30, back to 12. Daniels on the drive in the corner. Brown, three, comes up short. Lafferty with the rebound for Lawrence County. Good pass. Beautiful yeah. pass Woo. down low. Bloomfield puts it in. Belfry's asking for a timeout. And let's see what the – it's going to be a full. 325 left, third quarter. Lawrence County by 14, this is Random Out Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Welcome back to Appalachian Wireless Arena. 44-30, 14-point run, or 14-point lead coming in here now for Lawrence County. And Andrew Bloomfield has shown up now, folks. Yes. Yeah, we, we talked about points. it. Yeah. yeah, we talked about it at halftime. He's here. Belfort gets it in to In the front court, he'll come. That's 23 in the lineup. That's Barney. Top of the circle, Daniels, three, air ball out of bounds. And we're going to have a media timeout now. 3.14 left, 44, 30. 
Lawrence County third quarter is your In the Mountain Sports Network. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here in Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. WPRG is your source for live local sports and event coverage. Don't miss a minute of the regional tournament action. You can watch at home on Gearheart TV Channel 5, or from anywhere at WPRG.TV or with our free WPRG TV app available for free on Apple and Android. You never have to miss a second from your favorite local teams with WPRG. Still 44 to 30. 314 to go in the third quarter and it's just been all Lawrence County here. I mean, they've turned up the pressure on defense, uh, offensively, everything's at the goal. Uh, Markham's hit two three-pointers, just all you can. Well, besides the two three-pointers, all their yeah. pa uh, points has been down in the paint. Yeah. Now, Belfry trying to turn up the defense a little bit here. Here's Lafferty gets over to Markham. Inside Bloomfield. Jump, jump ball. Uh, jump ball. Good call. And it'll go to Belfry. I guess that ends up as a turnover. Yeah. Daniels down low working hard. He'll get it in. Brown back to Daniels. Brown in the front court. Kicks it over and beautiful pass down low. Barney misses his shot, but he's going to be fouled, and that's going to be the third on Gillespie. Gillespie is third Caden Barney at the line. He'll shoot two. First one's good. Irwin back in for Belfry and Perry back in for Lawrence County. Barney's second free throw comes up short. Rebound Rattler. Gets it over to Bloomfield. He works, gives it over to Lafferty, back to Bloomfield. Perry, long three, count it. When it rains, it pours. Straight off the bench, first time he tipped the basketball, <laughs> yeah. fires the three. Yeah. His second of the night. 47-31, 16-point lead. Lawrence County, that's the third largest. Down low, Varney, shot block. Rebound comes up, Lafferty. Works. And try to get it inside the Bloomfield. It's tilt. Still on the floor, and Woodland comes up with it. Markham knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Belfry. Turnovers were close, 11 to 10. Yeah, Belfry Lawrence had, County is yeah, getting yeah, right back yeah. in that ball game, but you've got the 16-point lead. So Aiden Merck back in for Belfry. He gets the inbounds pass. Now he'll give it up to Irwin. Irwin working. Lafty guarding him. Here he comes to Brown. Hard drive around the top of the circle now. Nice. Puts it in. Kind of lulled him to sleep with yep. that uh, hesitation yep. dribble. And once he uh, decided to go to the bucket, he was wide open. Bloomfield. Oh, good pass. A beautiful pass by Lafferty. Bloomfield kicks it out top of the circle for Lafferty and then breaks to the bucket and gets the layup. Just the junior Bloomfield. 13 so far in the quarter. And we're going to walk on the other end, Noah Brown. Turnover, Belfry. Lawrence County's come out here in his third quarter and took control of the game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and big time taking control. Up to 16. They were up four at the half. And here's a steal. And then loses it. 
knocked out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Belford. Lawrence County's put more up here in the quarter than they had in the first half. Oh, yeah. They, oh, yeah. they was 24 at the half. They're 49 now, so that's 25 here in the quarter. Yeah, Bloomfield's got more than they had I any quarter. The, the first quarter, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean. No, six second quarter had 16. He got a couple more to go. There's one of them. <laughs> Has it knocked loose? Another turnover, Belfry. Perry with it. That's number uh, five in the lineup, Ethan Horn. <laughs> Stepped and out of bounds. <laughs> Stepped out, out of bounds. Turnover, Lawrence County. Like you said, Larry, had, we, we've seen more baseline, sideline stepping. I mean. Yeah, and, and the court's wider <laughs> yeah. what they're used to. And here's going to be a foul on the drive. That's going to go against number five, Horn, for Lawrence County. Quick way to get yourself in the book yep. with a quick turnover yep. and a foul. Yep. Well, the foul slowed down here in the second half, too. Yeah. Only three against Lawrence County, two, Belfry. Not heard from Irwin here in this third quarter. No, he made two field goals early, and he's not even really got a good look. And there's Barney. Or excuse Burke. me, that's a Burke with the uh, shot no good. Rebound dug out. Number 11, Skaggs, and he loses it. And Willem down the lane, shot up off the glass, and no Willem, good. He'll go to the two, line yeah. for, for two. Davis. Brayton Davis. Twenty-two seconds. All that's left here, third quarter, and Belfry leaving a lot of points at yeah. the free throw line. Now going to need all of them too. Yeah, one of five for Wollum. Got Markham, Lafferty, and Bloomfield back in the lineup for Lawrence County. Misses them both. Rebound comes off to Bloomfield. Had it knocked loose for Burt, but he recovers. And Lawrence County will work for the last shot. Belfry in a half-court trap. They get it to Bloomfield. He gets it into front court. Eight seconds. Seven. That's Davis down the lane. It's blocked. Nice block. Bank gets it back. Bloomfield, three. No. And that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. 49-33 Lawrence County. This year in Mount Sports Network. Parkview Pharmacy in Mini is now offering vaccines for flu, shingles, and pneumonia. We also offer RX flavor for children's medicine. Delivery service is available. We have a collection of the most popular Candleberry candles. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Give us a call at 606-377-2117. Christy, Valerie, and all the friendly staff at Parkview Pharmacy would like to say good luck to the Jaguars. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. This changes everything. Gear Heart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gear Heart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena, 49-33 as we begin the fourth quarter. What a quarter for yeah. Lawrence County. The way it was, they came out and just took control of the game. 13 in that third or third quarter for Andrew Bloomfield. Yeah, that was a uh, monster. Outscored Belfry by 12 in the quarter. I scored 25 points that Ex quarter. Extended a four-point halftime lead to 16. Yeah, you had 24 at the end at the halftime, and you got 40 and scored 25 in the third. Yes, that's uh, the recipe for calming down. And they have it start this fourth quarter. Here's Perry with it. Try to give it to Bloomfield. He's got it. Splits the double team. Ball loose on the floor. Burt comes up with it, knocked out of bounds by Lawrence County. It's to stay with Belfry. Time's getting short for your chance to win four tickets for the East Kentucky Stampede Ooh. Rodeo. Steal by Lafferty. Like and share the Facebook page, and you'll become eligible. And there's a foul on Belfry. It's on Woolham. 
That's his second. And Bloomfield will be at the line for two. First one rattles out. Bloomfield had a big third quarter. He had 13 points, I think, was yes. in the quarter. What did uh, – I bet Belfry didn't score 13. They scored 13. That's what they scored. They, yeah. they were 20. At the, it was 24-20 at the half. Yeah. Bloomfield makes the second. 50-33, 17-point lead. Lawrence County was up 18 at one time. Here's Woolham in the end, puts it up and in. That's nine for Woolham. And got a warning on uh, Belfry for delay a game. Uh, delay a game, tipping the basketball after it went through the bucket. Bloomfield breaks the press, gets it over to Perry, 15 footer. No banks with the rebound for Belfry. And he'll get it over to Irwin. Perry Ir struggled a little bit from the field tonight. Yeah, he has. Ooh. Irwin. And got a jump ball, and it's going to stay with Belfry. I thought, I thought he walked when I, I thought well, yeah. I, I, he tried to pass it and it was and it, the pass was blocked and went right back to him. He picked right. it up, so okay. I, I didn't. I thought it was a play on. Right. And here's Belfry called for the foul. Yep. Twenty one. Noah Brown. A lot of you from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, rooting on the Bulldogs. Here's Bloomfield. Gives it over to Lafferty. Perry, three. Count it. Hayden Perry. He was too close on that 15-foot yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah, he got nine points all of them behind the three-point arc. Yeah. He's only took one shot that wasn't a three-pointer. There's Willem down the lane. Shot up and in. Nice. Well, he quietly had a good game. Yeah, he got here. 11 now. Yeah. 53-37, Lawrence County. Gillespie on the move. If he would have made his free throws, he'd be having a monster game. Yes. There's Bloomfield. Showed the three, then backs it out. He's got banks on him. Markham. On the drive, kicks it over, and they'll move it back out to Bloomfield now. Being very patient. No hurry. They've got the 16-point lead. Mark them with it. Bloomfield. <laughs> left hand shot up. <laughs> and. Did you get that? Oh, timeout. Oh, timeout. okay. They yeah. called the timeout Lawrence County. I thought they had an and one. I didn't see it. 5.46 left here in the ballgame. 55-37 Lawrence County. This year in the Mountain Sports Network. Your heart security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with GearHeart Security. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. 546 to go, 55 to 37, 18 point lead for Lawrence County. Uh, everything clicking for Andrew Bloomfield and Hayden Perry's got two threes here. Markham's got two threes in the second half. Just it's all all they want. Bloom, yep. Bloomfield 16 points here in this second half. And he had a game similar to that in the championship game against Betsy Lane last week. And down low, it's going to be Caden Barney. Going to the line for two. And that's going to be uh, Gillespie. That's his fourth. 
you know, Gillespie was the glue, though, that kind of kept them in it there the first in half. first half, you're exactly right. Has he scored the second half? Yeah, he's had a deuce. Yeah. He had nine in the first half, got 11 now as Barney misses the free throw. Yeah, I've got him three for four from the field. Ratliff coming in for Gillespie. Barney's second free throw stays down. 55-38, 17-point lead in the front court. Perry, Bloomfield step out and take it. Woolham on him, looking for some help. Gives it over to Rattler. Rattler to the bucket, and one. And one. They overplayed the pass and left him an open drive to the bucket. He yeah. took advantage of He's it. He's played big. I've got him four for five from the field. And two of those three pointers. Yeah. So that's 10 points. I don't, I'm not sure about his free throws, but I uh, haven't uh, shot one yet. Okay. So he's got 10. And, and he's, 11. he's one of one from the free throw line. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a 20 point lead. Lawrence County's largest. 505 left in the ball game. Daniels down low, up no good. Rebound comes off Bloomfield. He'll get it over to Lafferty. Lafferty, nice pass over to Perry. Three. Nope. And rebound put up. No good by Ratliff, and he'll go back to the line for two this time. And did you see Bloomfield up in the air on that one? Yeah. Rebound? Yeah, he was ready. He had, he had his wrist on the rim. Ratliff will have one more. And misses. Woolham with the rebound. 59-38, Lawrence County. 4.45 left. Irwin, three, yes. Needed a few more of those. <laughs> Not heard enough from him here in this no. second half. We got a 30-second timeout, Belfry. 4.39 left. It's 59-41, Lawrence County. Yeah, he's three for three from the three-point line. Uh, you know, and Noah Brown, two for three, but they just keep driving to the goal. I mean, it's when, when you're – you're tempted to drive to the goal, but they, they've just not converted a bunch of them. And it's been like that through the yeah. whole game. It's like that in the first half. Second game tonight ought to be a dandy also, folks. Shelby Valley, Martin County. Yeah, that'll be a dandy. Oh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Fifty-nine forty-one here in the, this game we've got going on now. Four thirty-nine left. Lawrence County with the lead. They got the basketball, and Belfry will come out full court pressure out of the timeout and showed man to man. Now they're trying to trap out of it. Lawrence County breaks it. Blake Markham gets it over to Lafferty. Now they'll get in their half court offense. Ratliff gets over to Bloomfield. Bloomfield, a huge second half. Perry, he's had a couple threes here in this yeah. half. Lafferty on the drive to the bucket, up and in. Easy she goes. Lawrence County just spreading the floor yeah. now, and everybody on the floor for Lawrence County can handle the basketball and take it to the bucket. That's what makes them fun to watch. And here's a steal on the other end. Perry came up with it, gives it over to Lafferty. He works it down over to Markham, back to Lafferty. Everybody outside the three-point arc for Lawrence County. They'll make a cut under the bucket occasionally, but uh, mostly uh, looking for that driving lane. Here it is. And Lafferty, he passed it up. Right back over to Perry. Good patience. There's Banks, comes out, picks the left up. He drives by him, kicks it over to Bloomfield. He puts it up and in. Try to get it back outside the Perry pass, which deflected. 
And again, came right to uh, Lawrence County. Basically passed it to himself. Just to yeah. Yes. I've got him uh, eight for nine from the field here in the second half. Eight for nine. There's Daniels down the lane. No good. Rebound comes off Bloomfield. He's ticking up there in rebounds as well. Got to up the stat sheet yeah, now. He's 35 to 20 on the rebounds. Oh, man, it's bad. Here's Lafferty driving against Daniels. Daniels, good defense, kicked it away from him, and then Perry picks up the foul. I've been keeping um, second chance points, and I have them with zero second chance points. Belfry? Yeah, Belfry with zero. Yeah. I mean, I've only got them with uh, two I got, offensive rebounds. I got two rebounds, that's all they've got in the second half. Right. We've got a media timeout, 246 left. Lawrence County by 22, the Jordan Mount Sports Network. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Welcome back to Appalachian Wireless Arena, 63-41. Lawrence County working it away. And go ahead, Larry. We have a winner of the four tickets for the East Kentucky Stampede Rodeo. Christy Brown stopped by the... Appalachian Wireless Booth, pick up your tickets. And here is Lawrence County, Perry. Gillespie with it. And Lawrence County just taking yeah. time off the clock now. Clock's your friend. Got two minutes to go, 20-point lead. Passing shots up. Here's Davis. He loses it. Willem has it taken away from him, and then a foul call to see what they got. Number five, Ethan Horn of Lawrence County. And that will be the one-on-one. Got number 15, that's Hensley coming in for Belfry. He was in briefly in the first half. Woolham at the line misses the one and one. Had a tough night there. And Gillespie with the rebound. He's getting close to a double double. Hey, he's got he? nine. Here's Gillespie with it. And ball knocked out of bounds for Belfry to stay with Lawrence County. Dangerous pass comes in to Horn. Gillespie. Horn with it. And Bloomfield not in the game right now. No. I th he's got two subs out there right now. Three yep. non-starters. Yeah, our Skaggs with it. Davis. Just getting some experience. That's, yep. good. That's smart. And Horn. You got a 20-point lead with a minute 22. There's Gillespie triple team. Here's Perry comes over and gets it. Skaggs. I think at this point you take your layup or you take your shot and just. Yeah, we're at a minute. And Gillespie down the lane puts it up and in. And we got a 30 second timeout, in Lawrence County. 102 left. Lawrence County, 22 point lead. They'll be moving on to the semifinal game. That will be Saturday. 
But I think it's good to take your stake, some of your starters, especially your big scorers, yeah. that yeah. don't take a chance to get them hurt for the next ball game. Right. Right. Well, you you know you don't need them in. You've got your twenty two yeah. point lead. Yeah, you got your ball handlers out there, young ball handlers that you're going to be relying on in the future. You know, you lose Lafferty. He's a primary ball handler for sure. Yes. Uh, but, Gillespie, you know, gets Gillespie good. handles the ball good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, they, you know, Lawrence County, they all do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like we said before, yeah. you know, it, the five that they start, Yeah. you know, uh, uh, either one of them could be a guard. Absolutely. Belfry will have it. And somebody's going to have to come back down here on this end and throw <laughs> so, it in. And somebody going to have to come with them to throw it in, too. Yeah. <laughs> And now they get it lined out. That was Barney bringing it in to Burke. Barney back with it. We've got number 14 in the lineup now. That's Andrew Rhodes for Belfry. Pass over. Burke puts it on the floor. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebound comes off, put back up, and in by Caden Barney. First, second chance points of the night. 65-45, down the lane. Davis, no good. Rebound comes off. That was number 14 with it, Rhodes. Excuse me, number 44 in the lineup. That's David Michael Hagee. Reckon he might be akin to the coach. think so. Yeah. I believe that's his son, I think. Eight seconds, all to left. Lawrence County just letting the clock run out. 65-45. They'll move on to the semifinal game Saturday. They'll play the winner of the night second game, Martin County and Shelby Valley. We're going to send it back to the station. We'll be back with some final stats and comments. 15th Region Boys Tournament on the Intermountain Sports Network. With Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearhart Fiber, coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearhartfiber.com to find out more. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like my, like my, like my we have a final in tonight's first game here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena Boys 15th Region Tournament. Lawrence County with a big second half outscores Belfry 41-25 in the second half and takes the 65-45 win. And Charlie and Justin's got some numbers for us. You know, they, they did. Lawrence County had a big second half. They ended up, they turned the ball 15 times on the night, which is yeah. surprising that they had that big of a win with that. But they countered that with 36 rebounds, six of them on the offensive end. Led in scoring by Andrew Bloomfield's 20. Uh, Gillespie with 13. Ratliff with 12. 
Hayden Perry with 11, six for Blake Markham, three for uh, Will Lafferty. So, you know, good balance scoring, wow. four guys in double figures. They struggle a bit from free throw line, 11 for 20 from the free throw line. For Belfry, 16 turnovers. Belfry with only 22 rebounds yeah. and only three on the offensive side. Let's see. Belfry led in scoring by Cody Irwin with 16. The only other in double figures was Caden Woolham with 11. Uh, three for Jay, or Jonathan Banks. Uh, seven for Noah Brown. Two for Eric Daniels. And one for Chase Barney. And they were 8 of 18 from the free throw line. Yeah, that uh, that free throw mark. And want to lead into what you were saying, uh, offensive rebounds and Lawrence County with those turnovers, that's why they didn't get any. Uh, I mean, they made, they shot uh, 23 for 42 from the field. So what they didn't miss, they ended up getting a rebound yes. and turning it over. Right. So they didn't get any chances to get any rebounds. So uh, Lawrence County, I had them 7 for 19 from the three-point line. Uh, 23 for 42 from the field. Uh, Belfry, on the other hand, 11 for 24 from the field. Only 11 field goals. Not going to get it done in the regional tournament. Uh, but they were five for six from the free, uh, three-point line. So uh, just left a lot of uh, empty opportunities at the free throw line and just uh, giving Lawrence County second chance points and not getting any of your own. They got two second chance points right there at the end of the game. Lawrence County with only four. Uh, but I, I thought that was uh, – we talked about it at halftime. Whoever came out in the second half and calmed down, and, man, Lawrence County was on fire. I'd say, you know, they shot 23 for 42, but that second half, I, I didn't keep it by yeah. half. But, I mean, they were on fire. They were. There were not very many yeah. rebounds. Bluefield was 8 for and 9. I, and on the season, they only averaged 40% from the field. 20, no, yeah. 23 or 42, uh, that's, that's right at 60%. I bet they shot 70 or 80% yeah. from the second, second half. Second half, they were on fire. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our first game. 65-45 Lawrence County over Belfry. They'll meet the winner in the semifinals of the two teams warming up on the floor now, Shelby Valley and Martin County. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back shortly with some pregame. Up tonight's second game, this is Random Out Sports Network. 